Very special guest indeed, Vice Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army General Jim McConville. I, I want to ask you, you know, Chief of Staff of the, the Army back in World War II said, reputedly said, I, I want an officer for a secret and dangerous mission. I want a West Point football player. What do you want the nation to know about the young men we'll see playing on this field Well, today? what you're going to see is some extraordinary young men. In fact, uh, when I had missions in Afghanistan and Iraq, I wanted a West Fo uh, Point mm. football player. And what, what the American people are going to see the, is these extraordinary young men and women that have chose to serve their country and they're doing so well. Well, and what's great about this game is we have 180,000 soldiers right now in 140 countries. They're going to be watching this game. They're going to be cheering this thing on. And this is the best of America. And we were talking earlier, and the winning matters. Oh, <laughs> oh absolutely. You know, you know, Army football, United States Army, when we send them on the football field, when we send them on the battlefield, they don't go to participate. They don't go to try hard. They go to win because winning mm. does matter. Outstanding. Army is favored in this one for the first time since 2001, but I want to talk about the game in general. For those who may have never seen the pageantry and tradition of the Army-Navy game, what makes this special? Well, you know, what makes this special is, is, is the people participate. Just not on the football field, but also those who are in the stands. All these cadets have raised their right hand and said they want to serve their country after it was attacked 17 years ago. And they know they may be going in harm's way, and yet they continue to serve. We are so blessed to have them. The humility, the honor and respect that's on display. General, it is a pleasure, honor, and privilege for you to join us today. Is there anything as we leave that you'd like to say to those watching around the world? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say two things. I'd like to say thanks to the American people. We're very blessed with the support we get. Our soldiers can't walk through an airport at a restaurant or in Philadelphia, in fact, without people's <laughs> thank for his service. Yeah. And thanks to those young men and women that are employed right now in harm's way. We're very, very proud of what they're doing for this country so we can enjoy events like